Good morning, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. Um, it was funny. I was just thinking, well, who should I do a reading for today? And then um, Matt commented on one of my videos, and I was like, oh, I'll do a Pisces reading. So, hi, hey, Matt. How's it going? <laughs> morning and also I just got a new deck so bear with me if it takes me a long longer time to understand the reading um, I apologize if you know if it's annoying but <laughs> I do need to get to know the deck as well so and this is the best way to do it but I do really like the images they send out different messages that the other you know, right away and other decks, it's, they're just very different, you know, they're artistic, there's art on it. So, okay. So something unexpected here at the bottom of the deck, which is something you don't see coming, um, something that could be a little abnormal, something you could be feeling like you're being realigned and honestly like realignment process is not very comfortable like think about a bone right a bone that um kind of okay well i'll put it this way one of my knees does this thing where it just randomly comes out of um placement right and it's because i'm like doing something in a silly position that i probably shouldn't be in anyway um the process of putting, like, I have to, like, basically, like, sit there and, like, straighten out my leg and be like, okay, and, like, slowly extend my leg so it pops back into place. <laughs> it's very painful. Um, so realignment can be very painful, like, just, like, healing or anything like that, you know, it's just, it's not, sometimes it's uncomfortable. Think about, like, a spine that's realigning, you know? Okay. Let's get three cards for Pisces. Three cards for Pisces, Oracle cards, please. Okay, learning. So Pisces, you could be learning something new right now. Um, you could be kind of delving into philosophy. Alan Watts. That's who I was thinking of yesterday during my reading. <laughs> I did an Aquarius reading. And I'm like, who's the one that says um, tomorrow, like you don't have to be the same person you were yesterday. He goes into this whole spiel about it, how like, you know, just because, I mean, there's certain things you can't change about yourself, but there's a lot of things you can. So, you could be just discovering a lot more about different things in the world. Um, you could also be maybe writing more. You could be interested in publishing some sort of book. You could be delving into different types of religions, spirituality. I'll be doing that this weekend because I have a lot... I have a lot to learn because I got the I just got these like chakra crystals and like I don't know what half of them are. <laughs> I'm like, what is that? I like them and they're very interesting, but like I want to know. I mean, I know the chakras and everything. I just don't know what they are as stones, <laughs> you know. Okay, what else for Pisces? Sagittarius could be important. Like I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius right now. Pisces, you seem very stiff at the moment. Okay. Well, we're doing four cards today. <laughs> All right. So Libra, the mediator, fair, people, people pleaser, balanced, sociable, sensible, diplomatic, polished, easygoing. Well, I know some Libras and they are definitely not easygoing. I don't know about that. I mean, no offense, Libras, obviously, but... Easy going. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, next to easy going is fickle. So I don't know, maybe you have some Libra in your chart, Pisces. Um, there's a little bit of warning here of self indulgence. Then we have the Chiron, which um, with healing. Um, so there's some sort of insecurity and like kind of open wounds that are being like kind of poked at right now speaking of that some of you could maybe resonate with the fact that you might be a little bit of a masochist when it comes to certain situations 
I'm kind of getting like a story like you keep doing things that you know maybe aren't the best for you because you in some sort of way enjoy the process of healing which is strange but more Sagittarius too so I, I feel like some of you are dealing with Sag um, the competitor in reverse here with Aries in reverse um, So some of you could also be feeling very quiet at the moment, if I'm taking this correctly. Um, I'm, I'm getting a very patient, quiet energy from something. Okay. Alright, so we have Sagittarius, Libra, and Aries here so far. Yeah, there's something about deep pain teaching. Well, maybe one of you are, maybe you're a teacher or something. I apologize, my stomach is making noises, so <laughs> I can't help it. What's this learning ninth house? I'm getting something about history, history teacher, history books. Seven of Swords. This is a very interesting card. I just got this deck, so hopefully you guys can, yeah. So... Let me just, yeah, history. Um, there's some sort of, like, for this, I'm just getting, like, very ancient text. I think it's written in, I don't know, it look, kind of looks like whatever. I'm not even going to go with what I think it looks like because I'm probably wrong. Um, but I'm kind of, like, getting Greco-Roman era type of deal. So maybe... <laughs> This is random, but like, um, I used to have like a Greek history class. So maybe you're getting sort of into that. Um, I'm also seeing something about statues here. Seven of Swords is also typically some sort of, um, kind of, um, excuse me, um, energy where someone is being sneaky about something. So, you know, maybe I'm also seeing something about some reading in between the lines. You could be kind of learning someone's patterns and figuring out, you know, how they operate. It's like you're you're studying someone very closely. Or this is someone studying you. Seeing something about diamonds, like a diamond ring. Okay. What's the Seven of Swords? The Two of Swords. Okay, so lots of swords, lots of air, lots of Libra. Okay. And Aquarius. Ooh. So there's two paths here on this photo. I really, really like this card. Um, hopefully you can see it. <laughs> I have my camera turned around the other way because I wanted better video quality, so I apologize if I'm, like, not, <laughs> you know. Um, so for this, I'm seeing you're kind of approaching, like, two different paths here. One of them seems kind of dreary, and, I mean, it's not terrible. And also, there's, like, another path going off of it. It's, like, it's like this path, it, it could be good um maybe you know it's like one of those like you're not quite sure about it but there's another one that seems very pleasant but like I'm almost getting it could be too good to be true and I feel like one of the paths the one that doesn't seem that great from the start there's like another like I said there's like another path going off of it that's kind of like you're kind of, it's like an option that also has another option, if that's kind of what um, I'm getting. I'm seeing someone that may have some sort of eye problem with one of their eyes. Okay. 
I'm also seeing something about some sort of body harness, like, so I don't know if that's the type of, like, kinky stuff you're into. What's this two of swords? What are these, what are these two paths? What are these two paths? Two cards, please. What's the other path? Thank you. So, one of the paths, we have the Princess of Swords. So this is, I believe, the Queen of Swords. Um, this is the, uh, so that would be an Aquarius or Libra, Gemini. This, this is, this is coming across very much so Gemini to me as well with the two, okay. Um, with the Princess of Swords here, this is someone, she has a little bit of a dark tendency, I feel like, um, there could be a lot of darkness in her, okay, but she's also kind of feeling to me, like a light energy. It's like, she, I don't, she, it's like she comes from a lot of pain. Take this how it resonates. This could just be you. Seeing something about butterflies here. So you could be seeing a lot of butterflies as well. I'm also seeing that, you know, that spiral. Um, oh, I can't remember like how you're supposed to reference it, but it's something about how this particular thing is the like key to like beauty or something. It's like a spiral. Let me know if you know what I'm talking about. It's it's kind of like a weird thing to say. Um, me with my weird things I say. Okay, and then also here on the other side we have the six of coins. Um, for some reason, yeah, I feel like you're just still worried about it. Something on this card is saying, look again. So I feel like this is showing up for me on the side that looks to be amazing, like really, really good. Um, the cards are asking you to look again, okay? Because something could maybe not be what it seems. These coins could maybe be not exactly what you expect them to be. Okay, this is interesting. What's this six of coins here? Princess of coins, okay. Look again. Sorry, I'm just trying to really study this card because I feel like I'm being called to kind of really look at this card. Okay. <laughs> All right. Someone here is not as they seem. Okay, I'm getting they could be a bit crazy. Okay, and I don't mean to make fun of anyone in any sort of way. Um, <laughs> and the reason I say that is because on this woman's, on this person's princess of coins headband, there's like nuts and it like it's right next to her head. So, I, you know, to me, I was like, oh, maybe she's nutty. Like maybe this person is like, she may come across really normal and fine, um, but she's actually quite crazy. Okay, and this is probably something you may not see until like a little later down the line. Okay, um, this princess of coins, of course, that is um, an earth sign. So that could be Taurus, Virgo, Capric Capricorn? Yes, Capricorn. Oh my God, why can I not think today? It's the morning, right? Something about the letters R. And you could be seeing the numbers 10, like 10, 10. 
Okay. Something about Uranus placement. <laughs> That's what she said. Sorry. Um, yeah, there's something about Uranus placement. So look up your Uranus placement. You may want to like uh, listen to a reading of, you know, wherever your Uranus is placed. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go into the mediator. Sorry, guys. I'm kind of, this is like a weird vibe, like. I don't know, I kind of like it though. It's different, right? Who's this Libra? The mediator. Who's, what's the mediator card? What does this mean? Maybe you feel like you're in between two different people and you're trying to mediate them. Maybe these are family members of yours. I don't know. Six of Swords. This to me is... Um, is a Libra card. It's also for me spirit guides or like Archangel Michael, um, some sort of protective energy that is ready to defend you at any point in time. This could be you. Maybe you feel like you kind of like a white knight. Maybe you feel obligated to protect someone. Okay. For some of you, this could be about like a, um, a child, like you are feeling very protective over a child. Okay. Maybe you're questioning, you know, someone that your child is is working with at this time for some reason. Okay, so we have the Prince of Cups. Yeah, okay. So someone's making an offer to someone here. This Princess of Coins, I see you making an offer to her. <laughs> it's weird, though, because I see this Princess of Swords over here. She's kind of like... I don't know, she doesn't seem like she's angry about it, but she's kind of like, are you sure this is what you want? I almost feel like something is also stopping you, or this is someone stopping, being stopped from making an offer to someone. And it's like the divine intervening, okay? And then this five of swords energy attached to someone here is like... <laughs> This is a, it's like a pirate. And I don't know, I really like that card. I like all of these cards, honestly. Yeah, there's angels around this offering. It's something that's being protected here. Okay. The Five of Swords energy. I'm seeing you may have had some sort of like celebration. Sorry about my voice. It's like morning voice. Um Again, the letters C, R, and M. Someone here is fighting for something, but it's being like almost blocked. I feel like it's being blocked for your own good, like it sounds like a weird message, but yeah, I'm I'm starting to feel like this card. This card is like my you, the spirit is the universe, the spirit, God, whoever you believe in, is blocking something on purpose. Because, but it, it's like you really want to fight for it, whatever it is. Why is uh why is it being blocked? Oh, it's too many. Too many. Thank you. Three of coins. Okay. This could be someone from your past, like from like school or something. Um, but with this Three of Coins card, as well as to why it's being blocked, I believe because um, you're actually supposed to be collaborating and doing something else. This could also be like spiritual court, like, or just... 
Six of Swords with the Three of Coins. It's almost like um, you're meant to be growing elsewhere here. You're meant to be. You're being. You're. The path that seems like it's going to be amazing is actually some sort of trap or something. Honestly, that's what I'm getting. Okay, that's really weird message. Sorry, this leaf was wet and I was like, why is the leaf wet? That's weird. Maybe I got my coffee in it. Okay. What's this healing card over here? Insecurity, wounds, vulnerabilities, deep city pain. What is that? I'm seeing that you're very horny right now. Oops. And that can be kind of like what's driving you in this direction. Um, but you need to remember about, you know, you know, if you if this is a, a, a masculine or male or whatever, um, you need to remember that you have two brains, okay? <laughs> one brain down there, one brain up top. Okay, and like one of them isn't always doing the best thing for you. Okay. So here we have the, oh, I like this card. Oh yeah, I'm getting kinky vibes. Very, very, very kinky vibes. Okay. <laughs> this 10 of wands card to me just looked like someone with like one of those masks on, honestly. The 10 of wands is often, you know, so there's a lot of towers, okay? There's a lot of towers that are, that have happened in your past, okay? And like I said, that could be the towers could be because you're your lower brain, right? We'll just call it that. Even if you're um, a feminine, you know, this could resonate with you. Maybe you are very sexually driven towards certain situations. Um, you need to kind of use your crown chakra in this situation instead of using the uh, lower region, <laughs> the sacral chakra. Basically, you want to use all, all of your chakras should be aligned, but I'm feeling that for some of you, maybe this lower one... <laughs> Is out of alignment and kind of screaming at you right now and kind of throwing all the other ones out of balance and that is why um, yeah the ace of wands this is my horny card as well um, and this is like a very sexual looking card to me so there's something here that's very sexual and from this is like I'm also seeing something about blueberries maybe you really like blueberries there's so many different things on these cards. It's like, it always is screaming out to me. Something about 1999 as well. Maybe you met this person in 1999 or like you met someone of importance in like 1999, 1998, 2000. I'm also seeing something about, when did 9-11 happen? God, I should probably know that. I feel like something happened significant for you besides 9-11 that year. And I'm also seeing um, something about Japan. Okay, so the message I'm getting here, like I was saying, is that you or someone here is very driven by their sexuality because all their other kind of chakras are unaligned. Or, or your sacral chakra is kind of, is throwing your other chakras out of alignment. So um, I feel like right now you really need to ground yourself, especially as a Pisces, you know, you guys are, <laughs> I love you guys, but you're a little all over the place. Okay. <laughs> um, I feel like you feel best when you're working with others. Like you really feel like you're, you know, in your prime when you're working with other people. Right, because you like being in like a school of fish, you know, because you like learning off other people, you like kind of feeding off that energy, and you'll give back that energy as well. It's not like you're just taking the energy. Um, but I feel like here with this healing card, is that you maybe you could be healing from some, some sort of sex addiction. Um, it's just like I, I feel like there's some chaos energy here and there's the yellow butterflies again with this ace of wands card this is a definite like you could be just feeling very inspired as well from this healing journey that you've been on who is this supposed to be 
I don't even know who this is. It's like. Ignis. Yeah, I'm getting something with the 1900s, like, not 1900s, like, <laughs> I meant like, you know, the 90s. Sorry. I don't even know who that card is supposed to be, but it's definitely some sort of very sexual woman. Okay. All right. So I'm getting, yeah, you've been healing. So that's good. You know, you're, you're, you're working towards a new beginning here, a new exciting beginning. So that's great. Um, the competitor in reverse, who is, what's this? Mm, yeah, Prince of Coins. The Queen of Swords. Wow, there's, okay. Okay. So we have some younger women here. Um, these could be maybe... These could, th this could possibly be you, Pisces. This can also be um, three different women, okay? This could be a choice between three. This could be, I feel like, or, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Temperance again. Ace of Cups, ooh. Okay, you have, whoa, King of Cups? Of the world. Okay. You have some serious like love offers coming in right now. And, and maybe you're just kind of like, you're wanting to be really stable about who you give your offer to here with the Prince of Coins. Um, you can also be like kind of trying to see all sides of the coin before you make your decision. This could also be This Empress here with the Princess of Swords could also be like the same person. It's kind of like this over here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is the Princess of Wands, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting that this is the same person. Okay, as the as the Princess of Swords. The princess I kept calling her the Princess of Swords, but she's the Princess of Wands. This person is they're the same person. And this is also the Empress. So while someone might seem like they are not a hundred percent like what you maybe they maybe maybe their inner beauty kind of exceeds their outer outer beauty is what I'm getting. Um you may want to just keep that into in your in the back of your head when you make this decision because you may be comparing them with this competitor card in reverse um this the cards may be asking you to stop comparing them to someone in your past because this is someone who will be more stable and this is you know someone who is also very intuitive and they know a lot of things okay and this could be why they're kind of looking at you like, you know, maybe they know or feel that something is off with you and it's kind of bugging them, but they don't really want to be harsh or anything. They're just kind of waiting for someone to come to them with some sort of truth. This Queen of Swords is an older, like I'm getting like an older person vibe from them. And remember to flip and switch roles, guys, if this doesn't, you know, resonate with you, like you being the one making the decision, maybe this is the person you're dealing with. You know, maybe this Prince of Coins is trying to decide between you and someone in their past. I don't know. <clears throat> but this could also be three different women. Like maybe this is just a poly relationship with three different women here or sex doesn't matter, like I said. But I'm definitely, I'm getting a better vibe from this person down here. This Queen of Swords, to me, is the better choice. 
Okay, I'm seeing a lot of blue. Maybe she likes wearing a lot of blue. Okay, and she could have tattoos on her back. <clears throat> I'm getting, yeah, and I'm getting like something about Japan. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, my voice just went. Goodness. Okay, so I would like to get some advice. What's the, the advice from the universe or whoever spirit for this Pisces? What's the advice? Okay, so we have a lot. <laughs> this could be different situations, so take it how it resonates. So we have the nine of coins. Okay. That's a very... Yeah. Okay, let me get these all together. And then we have the the star. Oh my gosh. These are great cards. Judgment. Okay. Wow. Wow, Pisces. I'm always getting really good readings for you guys. Like you're on the verge of something amazing. The advice here, in my opinion, is this judgment card. Okay, it's it's calling for you to make a decision. Okay, for sure. Um, it's saying it's time to make a decision. Okay. I feel like you should definitely go towards the path of least resistance. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just feel like saying it like that. I've always wanted to say that. Publicly. <laughs> um, go towards what makes you feel good inside, not what looks good. Okay, do you get what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> you can feel a certain way. Just because something looks good doesn't make it doesn't mean it makes you feel good, right? That's kind of a weird message, but that's totally what I'm getting because. Because whoever you're going to, this empress, this princess of swords, this, this is, you know, this could be fame. This is just abundance in general. This is someone who's actually very impressive. Okay, so whatever, like, I honestly get this is like a feeling between like two different people or something. Or how you're trying, excuse me, to make a decision. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, it's hurt. Oh, why do I do readings in the morning? Anyway, <laughs> um, someone can be a little bit at a distance, okay? Something about starfish. Okay. Again with the J Japanese stuff. Anyway, um, like I said, just there's a, a you will know which which way to go. It's not going to be the one that like like appears to be amazing because it's actually not it'll end up making you feel kind of lonely and desolate inside and like one of them is going to be very fulfilling like i said this princess of coins um there's something up with her she's a bit nutty okay <laughs> um it, she holds a lot of emotions back she's not giving you everything that's inside of her brain yet and once you get to what's inside of her brain you're going to be like oh no what did i do <laughs> Um, this Princess of Swords, though, she is a princess. She is also, she is very sexual as well. She is very strong. She's very truthful. She's also an empress, you know. This could be you, Pisces. This could just be your journey right now. Um, however, that is all I have for you, Pisces. And I hope you guys have an excellent day. Okay, bye.